Welcome to this week's Unguhu uh, Neha Phrase of the Week. So this week's phrase is Dewaya Ayina Darumni Ne Aksutta. One more time. Dewaya Ayina Darumni Ne Aksutta. So this is a falling tone or what we call a down stress. So it's because it's a falling tone, your voice is going to fall. So Dewaya and this is a glottal. So aye not darumni. Right, another glottal there. Ne ak sutta. Okay. Now this has uh, a lot of different uh linguistic features that help us uh extract meaning from uh the words that are created, right? So they have many different pieces. You can kind of see it um from all the different colors. So this first de over here in de waya, it is called the cis locative. Now the cis locative is a fancy word that means, well, cis means on the same side and locative <clears throat> means uh, like basically a location, right? A, um, sometimes it's talking about the direction of something coming towards us in, in the case of like words like daya, where she's on her way here. Um, and that is the same cis locative in a different tense form, um, but is the same cis locative feature. Um, it can also be used um, to say that something is in a fixed location, um, like G de wakenusote, right? My house. That is the same exact de that is right here, the cis locative, because your home is in a fixed location. Um, <clears throat> So that's why this day is here, and we'll come back to it um, on when we get the full meaning of the word. This W is the pronominal prefix for the pronoun amha, which it means it. Next is, and oh, this is on an A stem, so it takes, because the root that we're connecting it to, the stem, is an A. It starts with an A, so it's an A stem. This is the Amha prefix for the subjective a stem. Okay, so that's why it's in red subjective. Next is this a with the down stress i, and this comes from the word kahi, which can mean fruit, but it can also mean berries, um, or more specifically berries, but it can also use as a catch all term for fruit. So, <clears throat> um, you can see that this a i is the same A and I that is here in Gahi underlined. This is the noun root. So when sometimes when the stress of the word falls here, the down stress is compensating for an H. So the down stress takes the place of the H here in Gahi. This next A, um, I made a mistake here. I'm sorry about that. It is the noun suffix. Um, so it's just saying that this is a noun and not a verb. <clears throat> so, dewaya means basically all together there's fruit there or if you were to think there's fruit in there. Um, so this is the word we use for pie um, because there's fruit in pie. Um, so yeah, this is specifically about um, fruit that's in pie uh, and to, or, or pie, sorry, pie that's made with fruit. Sorry. Um, and we also can say like tkawara. So the only difference, so you, the, you can hear the, the t, that's the cis locative and the a at the end, tkawara. The only difference there is that's talking about meat. So that's meat pie. So this here is a pie that's made with fruit. Next is anye na darumni. Okay, so we start with this a. Uh. We've used this before in previous videos and is the future marker. So it tells us it is in the future tense. This ye, it's in red, so it's a subjective, meaning we're in control of the action uh, to some degree. Um, and it is the it is the pronominal prefix for agamha, and that means her. So this is saying she will, right? We continue going to find out what, what she's going to do. So this na glottal tar comes from the word ganadaro. And this is also a falling tone or a down stress. 
in this over here, this down stress was compensating for the H. Over here, the down stress is compensating for a glottal. So down stresses sometimes can compensate for a um, for a H or a glottal. So gana taro means bread. And that's this N A glottal T A R is right here. N down stress, so there'd be a glottal here, T A R. This is the noun root, meaning bread. Next is uni, and it comes from the word gunis, which means I make. That same O N N I is right there. So this means to make something. And then this final glottal here is the aspect marker telling us that it is now in a different tense. Um, what tense is it in? It is up here, the future tense. Okay. So all together, ayenatarumni means she will make bread. <clears throat> Next is ne, and this can mean many different things depending on how it's used in the context. In this case, it means um, the aforementioned, right? So she will make bread, the aforementioned, this is the person that is making it. So it has this ak, which takes the form and it looks almost like a possessive pronoun, meaning it would be like my grandmother, which technically is the translation. But in Ungu you can't really possess a person. It's not in our worldview, so it's not in our language. Um, so really, there used to be a W here, and it used to be W-A-K, Waksuta. We stop saying the W and just have now say Aksuta. So W-A-K is a very old form to mean she to me. So, um, yeah, so it would mean she to me. And this H-S-O-T-H-A, this is a verb that means to be a grandparent, really. So although we, although we say can say grandparent, it is a verb that means to be a grandparent. So Aksuta means she is a grandparent to me. My grandmother is how we would translate that. So all together, dewaya anye na tarumni ne aksuta. All together means my grandmother or my duda will make pie. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow the Mohawk Council of Akwazasne and Thompson Island Cultural Camp for more Unguhuahna phrases of the week. I hope you all have a nice day. Hona!